Okay, so this video is going to have two purposes. One is going to be to capture my iridescent shark, and the other will be to measure him. So let's see what I'm going to do about this uh, brand new net just for capturing this iridescent shark because he's outgrown the other net that I had, which was about a 9 inch net. This one's a pretty big one. For an aquarium fish, I don't know. When he gets really big, he won't even fit in this net. You might see some thrashing about of other fish. Whoa, Nelly. He's a fighter. It's okay. Can't fight the inevitable. Really healthy, extremely strong fish. <laughs> there we have him. See if maybe I can get a quick measurement before I put him in this. Look at how beautiful. This container is 10 inches from front to back, so that makes this iridescent shark just 9 inches. A 9 inch buddy. In the aquarium, very, very hard to tell how big they are. The eyeballs are generally off by about 30%. I read it somewhere. So yeah, that holds true for this guy as well. That's about 30% off. I thought maybe he was closer to a foot long. This iridescent shark is about a year and a half old. I know, pretty small for a year and a half. I bought him when I worked at Walmart. He was in the Walmart tank for six months and did not grow at all. And was skinny as all get out, but he was the biggest one in the tank. So I bought him at about two and a half inches long a year and a half ago. And he didn't really start growing good until I put him in the 100 gallon. But now he's going to go in the 400. That video in a minute. 